Hello everyone, today I want to do unboxing, setup, and review of the Mainstain Single Serve Coffee Maker. I purchased this on Walmart, only paid $20. I've noticed it never goes on sale and you know whenever it comes in stock it usually sells pretty fast. So if you're interested in one of these make sure you get it, don't wait because it might be out of the stock. So um, so if you're not familiar with Mainstains, they usually sell their stuff uh, at Walmart. It's marketed by Walmart and it's usually uh, I would say lower quality of stuff, so I'm not sure about this coffee maker, but for 20 bucks, I'll give it a try. Uh, the reason I did purchase it is because I want to use K-Cups and ground coffee. Sometimes I like to switch it up, so this works with both. And it also has a removable drip tray from standard cups or travel mugs, which is nice. Auto shut off up to brew cycle completes. Compact space, same design. I can already tell just by lifting the box, it's pretty light. Now, let's see what else is on the box before I open it. And it has a push button lid opening, holds ground coffee and K cups, as I mentioned. It has a 14 ounce reservoir, so you can make a 14 ounce cup of coffee. Now, make sure if, for example, if you put in 14 ounces, that's what's going to come out on the other end, so make sure you have a cup large enough because you don't want to put 14 ounces of water and then have eight ounce cup. Everything else will just, you know, it will just come out. So you will stuck with hot coffee. And as I mentioned, it has two buttons here, K-cups, ground coffee. And the best thing about it is, which most Keurig machines don't come with, is the reusable ground coffee filter. You have to uh, pay that extra. So this is nice, it comes with that. And uh, if we're gonna compare this to Keurig, Keurig is much more expensive, but um, you know, we'll see if this one works as good. I'm not saying this is going to be better, but if it works decently enough for the price, I'm, I'm happy with it. So let's open and see what comes inside. So we got the, we got the setup guide. And I'm definitely going to read through it just to see the first time use. Always make sure you read one of these whenever you get kitchen appliances because sometimes they need you to clean something or, you know, make sure you do something else. All right, have something fell out of the box, but let's put this down. Let's see what fell out. Oh, yeah, it's the, it's the ground filter. Now it looks much, uh, honestly, it looks much bigger than I thought it would look. Let's open this up and see the actual coffee maker. Put that away. All right, this already opened. Here we go. Now it's very, very light. It has those two buttons on the side, one for K-cup, one for ground coffee. I wish the cable was a bit larger. It looks like maybe two to three feet. So, not that happy with it, but it's okay. It's meant to be next to the outlet in the kitchen. And uh, let's push this, it says push to open. There we go. Uh, for some reason, this keeps popping up. Now we have that needle right here, and then we have the, you can take this out. This is for the K-cups. So on the reusable ground filter, there is a max line. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's probably an inch in. So that's if you're making ground coffee, that's how much coffee you're going to put in. Uh, you can go a little bit lower than the max, but don't go over the max. And um, on the plastic K-cup thing, there is a ne needle and it's located. I'm not sure it's hard to tell. So if you do end up washing this thing, be careful because it's, it's pretty sharp. You don't want to get injured but um and even says caution sharp needle and uh english and i believe this is spanish we can take this off you can wash this and uh we have a couple things on the bottom let me put this down this one is very very flimsy where you put the water it just opens up by itself i'll show you guys that in a little bit now let's remove this it has two two tapes right here. I'm assuming you probably take this off and you do. This is the drip tray or you can take it off if you have a really long cup. 
Now let's see what comes inside the reservoir. It looks like some kind of blue plastic thing. Let me see if I can open this. Okay. Oh, there we go. If you do the right side, it comes out easier. I was doing the left side, but yeah, here we go. This is where the water goes in. Let's see. Now we have different steps. We have 14 ounce, 12 ounce, 10 ounce, and six ounce. It also has this filter in case you put water with some particles inside like dust or dirt or something, which is quite nice. So next step is I'm gonna wash all these three parts with some war warm water and then I'll come back. All right, so I'm back, I got everything washed. So the first step is they say you should put the ground coffee, you should put the ground coffee filter in which I just washed and we're gonna put that in. We're gonna close this. Make sure it's nicely closed. We're gonna put the water reservoir in. Once that's in, we're gonna put in 14 ounces of just water. All right, so I just put in 14 ounces of regular water. I got my cup under, I made sure the water fits inside the cup. And the first step is just to put the ground filter in, no coffee, no nothing. And then on the side, we're gonna press ground. And as you guys can see, that blue light turned on. And now we're just gonna wait until the water heats up and goes through once. There we go, finally, we're getting a very, very hot wooden water coming out. And it should automatically shut off, hopefully. There we go. Well, that was a lot of noise. So if you don't like noisy machines, this is not going to be for you. Now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna toss this water out. Then we're gonna put in K-cup filter and I'll be back. All right, so now we're gonna make some K-cup coffee. Now the first step is to fill up the reservoir of water. I'm just gonna use it from the bottle because when I did it from the cup, I made a bit of mess, I spilled a little bit. So I'm gonna do about, I like my coffee six to eight ounces. So I'm just gonna eyeball it or I can use the step. So let's see. It looks like between six to eight ounces. Now we're gonna close this and we're gonna push to open this one. We're gonna take out the ground filter. Now there's a little bit of water coming out. I'm gonna toss that too. Now you can use any brand of K-Cup you want. I got the Solimo, it's an Amazon brand, French roast, dark roast. And um, if you ever need cheap uh, K-Cups, you can usually find this on Amazon. About, <laughs> I had a crazy deal, about 200 of these for, I believe it was just under 20 bucks. Amazing deal. Now we're gonna put in the K-Cup, filter it in. And then we're gonna put in our cake cup inside. Now, don't open it, don't touch nothing. All you have to do is just press down on it. And there we go. Now it says secure. And all we have to do now is press the capsule button on the right side. Once we do that, now it's just a waiting game.
And there we go, we got some hot coffee coming out. Now, I'm not sure why it makes so much noise at the end, but this noise lasts close to a minute. Oh, actually, the, this time it was much faster. So let's uh, let's give a coffee a try. Looks very dark. Oh yeah, very good coffee. I like it. It's very strong. So if you guys like strong K-cup coffee, go for a dark roast or French roast. So now that we're done, we can just push this open. And we're going to take our old. We can just take the whole filter out. But uh, let's just take the K-cup out. And there we go. It has a hole in the middle and it should have one on the bottom. Yes, it does, right there. It has a lot of ground coffee inside. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next video.